everyone, welcome to my completed pages video for November. Now there are loads of Johanna Basford this month just because Small Victories was out and I've done over 20 pages from this already. So there's lots of that. But there are a few other things as well. I've got a couple of other piles of books too to show you. And um, before I start, welcome to all my new subscribers and followers. I so appreciate it. I've suddenly noticed that I've had a big increase. So thank you and to my new members as well of my channel. It's huge and thank you and I so appreciate it. And all of those of you that have supported me, um, followed me in Kofi and supported me there as well. I so appreciate it. Thank you so much. And please, if you haven't already subscribed, please do and tick that like button. Right, that's that over with. Let's get on and show you what you're here for. So first Johanna Basford I'm going to show you is this little one, um, her postcard book. This is Rooms of Wonder for those of you like me who have whose German is a bit rusty. And I did this page. Now I did this little tutorial of the pairs. You can see we've got a bit of glitter on this page. Um, for a page in my Kofi, um, on my Kofi, a step-by-step -step photo, um, hand, a written um, tutorial and I just finished the page this month so I've done that postcard so that was rather nice um, there is a flip through this postcard book by the way I've had it a while so um, if you're wondering and I am wondering if there's going to be a small victories postcard book which um, which will be interesting but I haven't seen I did have a hunt I normally buy them off book depository which of course is closed down so I wouldn't know where to buy it I'm going to have a look on iMusic which is where I buy Hannah's books now so we'll see I have a little search but I think it's a bit early they don't usually come out right away so small victories I've produced this which I'm going to show you for those of you who haven't seen my videos um, during the month this is the sheet this free to download from Kofi um, that I produced is very simple but it's basically a list of all the pages in small victories and you can complete when you started it, when you finished it and what materials you used. it There is a PDF um, download but I've also included an Excel file which means that you can adjust it if you want. So if you want those columns larger so you can have a bit more room to write or whatever you can do that or if you don't like the names I've given to the pages you can change them. But um, that's available for you if you want it. Um, I haven't kept mine up to date, I've been very naughty, I need to. But uh, anyway. <laughs> So here's what I've done. I haven't bookmarked any pages. I'm just going to work through it in order. Now, I've done a lot with polychromos this month. The postcard I just showed you was, and a lot of these are, but I will try and remember to tell you what I used as I just forgot. So this is obviously the title page and there it is done with polychromos, but these stars are done with some gold um, pen. I think it's Posca. I couldn't be sure. So I've done that one. So these are all in the book, I think, somewhere. I don't know because I haven't done it. I've seen some of them already in the book. And then I also did this page here. Um, again, using polychromos. Um, I have been trying to save some of the pages for you for videos, but some of them I've just done myself because I'm not sure, like this one, I'm not really sure it's video material, not my sort of video anyway. But also, um, you know, if it's fun and I'm in the mood for it, I just do it. I think, well, if you really want some videos and I've already coloured the pages, I can always get another copy because it's such a delightful book. These, again, polychromos. Now, this one is done with Pablo pencils, the um, Karen Dash. They went down really nicely on the paper. Um, I was always expecting um, polychromos to work, but these were good too. I haven't actually found any that don't work. And I think this paper is the same UK and USA, I think. So this one, Ergosoft, um, they went down nicely. I think Johanna uses Ergosoft a lot herself, or Stedler pencils, so I think she always sort of makes sure it make sure they work on her paper so that was that one um, let's go on through this one here the pencil is um, Stedler Design Journey so very similar to the Ergosofts and then the background is just a Mungo, Mungo Pastel um, that that's go, went down nicely too and then this one was done with Black Widows 
I didn't get such a good result with those but I think that's more to do with the pencils. I didn't really persevere very hard with them here. You can see quite a bit of white paper through. But I think also on this side of the page it's quite difficult because you can't lean. What I found is better, I didn't learn it with this, is to put another book underneath like that and lean on the book and that helps you. It's because the spine is quite thick and doesn't open flat so... I've also seen, talking about the thick spine, some people have had their copy spiral bound and it's completely ruined the pictures because they're so close to the spine. So I think people were suggesting if you have it spiral bound to bind it at the top. I would even suggest just have the spine cut off and use it loose leaf. I think rather than spiral binding it because I know you, you wouldn't necessarily then remember the order but I think you could then get right to the edge. That would be my thought. This one was such a delightful page and because they're so tiny I just did them myself and what did I do those with? Um, oh mixed pencils I think I started with Polly's I used some Black Widows I used some Ergosoft I, I mixed it all up use all sorts so that was good they all went down well where are we going got a big space oh these yes I was um I was influenced by um, Emily Illustrator's version of this where she used um, Ergosoft pencils. Mine looks totally different to hers. Um, she has a much lighter touch with her colouring than I do. And I, I, I started copying hers with the first pencil and then I just wanted to do my own thing. So I closed her picture and just did my own thing. So I don't know how similar it ended up being to hers, but uh, I just wanted to do do myself. Now this double I did actually one after the other. These um, larger florals were done with Castle Art soft touch pencils. Now I find I can't always get to such a good point with these or I do have to keep sharpening them. So I think quite good for this bigger design and I used a black Posca pen behind to make them stand out and there's a bit of gold Posca. I don't know how easy it is to see around the edge. These were done with Tombow Erogeton pencils. They're really useful for um these small spaces as well i just sometimes find the color range a little bit odd i don't know it doesn't always quite have the colors that i want i use the sort of fluorescenty ones in that one this one i did yesterday um i used um ergosoft i think i seem i'm sure i did yes ergosoft for this one so that was nice. I used a really faint colour in the background and I used bits of pen but I didn't use any white on the bubbles. Perhaps I should have done. Anyway, a few white dots here in there, Sakura um, jelly roll. I've been looking through to try and find Christmassy type pictures to do for you from here um, in December. I found a few. Now I did this page, although it lends itself to a series of tutorials because Barbara Colour had done some, Emily Illustrator had done some, Johanna had done some, I thought you've had so many tutorials on this page so I just did it myself and that was Polychromos and I yeah, had a whale of a time, I really liked all of those, it's great fun and I, re I have been taking my time with this book doing it quite slowly which is why I haven't got as many pictures this month, um, I've just been you know indulging this one I enjoyed a lot. Um, this was Polychromos. It reminds me of one from Worlds of Wonder with the boat on the water, which I really enjoyed colouring as well. That one had a circle in the background. I did a galaxy sky, I think. I didn't want to do a background. When I finished, I just felt like I wanted it to pop off the page. Now, here's the space one. You may have seen my tutorials for these. Um, I wanted to make it look as unblack as possible because Johanna had said something about um about not wanting it to be black and uh, there it is so there's six tutorials for that one and uh, they're done with the metallic pencils i used to mix of castle arts and brute funa the background is past uh, mungio pastels and there's a metallic pen all sorts going on in that one everything went down really well um, a bit of pastel there i should have to erase that before i do these this one was done using Black Widow's pencils. Um, I'm not very keen on this pink colour, um, which sort of put me off the whole picture, really. It's a shame, but uh, it was a bit 
I don't know. I don't like that cyanide pink. I don't know why I chose to use it. But anyway, <laughs> I should have used this plum pudding. It's much nicer. But never mind. Um, but there was that one. I think the tortoise is next. Oh no, we have the fruit page. Um, you may be getting this one today, I think. Maybe. But yeah, I I really, really like colouring fruit. And so... I was just in my element on this page and I did the series for you, which I hope that you liked. Um, yeah, it's just such fun. So there are those. So all of those um, are tutorial videos if you want to have a look. Um, this is Mr. Tortoise. Um, he is done using polychromos again so many polychromos this month and some mangira pastels with a cloud stencil in for the sky and not a cloud not a stencil for the bottom so that's him this is the autumn wreath page it was a two-part um video um also done with polychromos the reason there's so many polychromos is because they have a lovely range of colour, obviously with the 120, but also I find it much easier to get into small areas with those. So that is why I used lots of those this month. Then we have our dragons. Again, this was a two-part video um, for uh, for those. And they were, with, they were actually done with castle art, so a bit of a different pencil with some pastel in the background. I'm going to be doing these soon, I think spoiler alert this was the first series i did from the book i was really attracted to these circular shapes and i was really pleased with how it came out just because you know i enjoyed it so much i think that's reflected in uh, in the coloring really that's polychromos this narwhal page also polychromos again oh, loved it spent ages on this just really enjoying and indulging myself and then i did this little one here Bring it a bit closer for you to see. Um, that one was with polychromos and also this one with polychromos. So yeah, quite a lot done in there already. Love, love the book. Love it. Right, let's have a look. Let's move on to another book. Um, the Planner. So Johanna Bassford's Planner every week. Um, on a Monday you will have a video, there may be two, depending, it's usually two because it's quite a big amount to do. This one was done with Pablo pencils with a black Posca background. Then the next week's these were done with Prismacolor. We did a bit of um, blending and a bit of a different technique with those. Then this one was a really gentle, easy one, I thought, done with Erga Soft, just quite a simple, with a few bits of pastel in the background. And then this one, a little more complicated, um, the bed itself, Stedler Design Journey, we made a bit of gold, not too hard, I don't think, I'm well practised in gold though, I've got a lot of videos with gold. Um, the stars have a bit of um, glitter pen. I wanted to make it look slightly festive because we're getting to that time of year. And around it, I just messed around with a few different pastels to make a sort of glowy, shiny, nighttimey thing going on. It's really similar to the version of that I did in my actual book. And you can see a flip through of the book because I finished it. That's, um, is that Worlds of Wonder? Yeah, finished it. But anyway. That was those are the planner pages as you can you can find the videos for all of those. I did a few from Ivy. I need to erase this. I've got pencil all over the cover. So I did a few simple ones from here. I did this border here. Um, it's got metallic pen on the outside. I don't think it's very easy to see, but um, it's mainly done in um, Black Widows. Actually. It says opposite, I'm wondering if that's actually the right page. I think it is. It says opposite butterflies, which is in plural on my list. But anyway, I'm sure it's the right one. This one I did. This one took a fair amount of time too. But that background is pastel, so it was pretty quick. Um, the jars are done with um, Black Widows. No, I'm lying. Um, polychromos. And there's some sparkly, shiny stuff going on. The wings are glittered. The stars are white and around each 
pot there are, is some shiny metallic pen but you can't really see it and the background is done in just pastels I just used this lovely warm brick-ish colour keeping it lighter around the pots and darker in the corners to try and give that impression that the light is lighting up that bit of the wall but I didn't do anything too complex like make bricks I just could get it and I like those sorts of colours so that was good and then I just did this the other day in the mood for small victories but um was in ivy so i did this teeny tiny butterfly and the ivy and butterfly here and i just did that with ergosofts i was just in the mood for, some, for getting something finished and doing something quick and if you don't have small victories then these color palette test pages are really good because they just have a little tiny image there Okay, now Worlds of Wonder, I am working on this page. Now it's very unlike me to have a long-standing work in progress, but we did this one in October and then this one I used this colour cube card. These are Sarah Rene Clark's colour cube cards. You can buy them only from her website, so if you look up her you can find them. The postage used to be very expensive. It is a little cheaper now because she has a UK warehouse. So if you are thinking of getting them that um, you might find they're a little bit cheaper. But the, um, the digital version is much cheaper. But yeah, we did this. This was a video. Just showed you how I chose the colours from the card. We just had a good fun colouring that one. I'm planning on doing more of these. Um, it might just be a very long running series. I thought I might do a Christmassy one. Maybe. I, don't, I haven't quite planned all my Christmas yet. So we'll see. Some of it I have. Some of it I haven't. This is my calendar. I can't, I can't zoom out anymore. So you just about fits in shot um this is the 20 hang on let me just check um yes 2018 secret garden calendar and this is the november page i used prismacolor for this one and i think there might be pastel in the back yeah it's pastel it's all smudged out the sides pastel in the background it's got one page left then i'll do a flip through for you um probably at the end of december um once all the christmasiness is finished and yeah i'll probably do december's with a christmas theme of some sort or another not sure what yet but so uh, that was my one of my challenges for the year was to finish that calendar well to start the calendar and then finish it Shh. i've only had it since 2018 it's not that long but uh, I have enjoyed it but I have, because I had Secret Garden and I was working through it um, last few years and I had the miniature one then doing the calendar as well was a bit much and the pages were big and daunting but now I haven't got a Secret Garden on the go at the moment it's quite nice to have the odd Secret Garden picture to do let's just move that colour cube card it's rather distracting now this is Maria Trolley's universe and I was asked to do a tutorial on this page, which I did. So I think it's a two-parter um, using polychromos because the person that asked me to do it has polychromos as their main pencil set. So I did it for them with the polys. But I know a lot of you watched it, so thank you for that. And then I got this new um, Maria Trolley book. Now this is the only other one I've done. I haven't done a lot of her stuff this month because... I was doing autumn and then I was doing small victories and then I was doing Christmas so I haven't done many but this is a beautiful book so I did these on camera when I did my flip through but I finished it and did that little bit the the little girl Vivi she's called Vivi I think um that one and these are done in um um Stedler Design Journey a different pencil wow and then this page now this page stood out to me i thought it was a beautiful page and i immediately knew how i wanted to color it so i just did it and it took me a long time a few days which is another reason why i haven't got so many pictures this page took me a long time and um polychromos but i just i had a ball i loved every second of coloring that page just loved it so that was that one and now we're moving on to Hannah Coulson. 
So City Among the Stars here. See, I'm sure I've shown you this one already, but apparently I did it this month, maybe a long, long time ago. This is Black Widow pencils, but I'm sure I did it a long time ago. Anyway, with a, um, there's a, a, a gold Posca and um, the um, Mungio pastels in the background with some white dots which have gone pink, annoyingly, but there we go. Now Atlantis, her new book, um, I haven't done a lot from here, but this one was a tutorial um, of the lovely frog. Um, I must, looks like Ergosoft, yes, Ergosoft and um, pastel top on, oh, we've gone very blurred, there we go, there we go, sorry. Um, Yes, um, pastel top and bottom for that one. Yeah, my camera does like to focus on the thing closest to it. So seasons. So I found this sort of what I thought was quite an autumnal looking page, or it had potential. I think it's in the autumn section. The, the seasons is split by section. We've got a really big mess on the edge of this page. Now, I used... Um, I'm just trying to see. Um, standard design journey for most for the main work, but this background is done with a Sennelia, um pastel, and it is so messy. It's made such a mess here, but it does erase. I think. Yeah, it just erases like other pastel. So I have to just clean that up before I. But there's no point in me doing it now because it's going to keep transferring. It's transferred all over the place. Really needs a fixative. If we ever have a warm sunny day, I might use my fixative. And it's an iridescent pastel, so it shiny, but it isn't that shiny. What I find with iridescent pastel, with my pan pastels as well, is that if you rub them, the iridescence disappears. So you have to sort of stab dab them so that's interesting but the pan pastels maybe if I had the proper applicators it might work better I have got them um, I am thinking about getting them but uh, it's the wrong time of year for me treating myself to things so uh, we'll see um, next year sometimes I get Christmas money so this one is the pan gold pan pastel in the background look at that Again, I sort of dabbed it on a bit. It's quite patchy if you look at a bit without, but I actually quite like that patchiness. And if you can make out the picture, if I tip it that way, <laughs> it's done with, um, um, oh, polychromos. <laughs> I should have guessed. So uh, yeah, I, yeah, there was a, I, Spent a lot of time on that one too. It was uh, it was a body colour, I think, but yeah, it's good. And I did a seasons postcard as well in a video. This one here. Now it was a giveaway. I added to it after I finished the video, which was a bit naughty of me. I put some um, stickles on the on it and some different things to make it shiny. Um, but the winner, who was Carol Parker five five three six has this I drew the names out of a hat you can see hasn't got back to me to uh, try and contact me so I'm going to sort of hope that she's watching this video and she knows she's won and uh, that um, that if she messages me through Instagram Facebook or any comment on YouTube I'll see it and uh, I'll find a way that I can get her address and send it to her so hopefully um, hopefully we can get that one off to the winner now Midnight Masquerade, I did this um, sort of gold pot, I was in the mood for sort of getting into the festive but also autumn so I did the berries, you know me, oh, let's put that flat so you can see it, um, you know me I love my berries so I did the berries and then I don't know what am I going to do with the pot so I made it sort of gold and there's some glitter on there and all sorts of things going on so yeah had a bit of a field day on that one with the old festivity I get very excited about Christmas coming so Witch's Cottage I am working through this one in order um, from front to back so again this one took me a while because um, it's a double um, because you know working from front to back so I've got to do it um, I used what did I 
use for this one? Oh, I haven't turned the page. Oh, I need to turn the page in my book. There we go, Prismacolor, that's right. And there's a couple of things in this page that I really wanted to stand out, and they do. So this bit here with the sort of bottle and ghost and this bit with the candle, I wanted to stand out. I had a lot of fun with the background, trying to make the shelves look a bit more three-dimensional, which I was happy with. And then um, the other things I wanted to keep a little bit more low-key. I probably should have put a bit of white pen on the crystals. But, you know, I was... Uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with the overall look of it. It was quite a daunting page being a double. Um, with all, I knew I had to do background, and I did the background in pencil. So, in Forest Kingdom, oops, I did. I got a bit of a festive vibe going on. I wanted to do start doing some festive pictures, and so I did this bug in festive colours. And there's glitter pen around it as well. It's done with um, the polychromos. What a surprise! <laughs> so yeah, I just, I just, yeah, I was feeling really festive. It was good. But uh, recording this, it's not even anywhere. Near. Well, we've got well, less than a month to go, I suppose. Right, we're back to autumn. Rita Berman. This is Rita's autumn book, and I tried to do a fair bit in here just because she has got the loveliest um, autumn pictures so this apple I had a go at now I used I'm trying to think um Artex pencils I found they didn't necessarily blend brilliantly but I layered them up and in the end I was really pleased it took quite a lot of work to get the colors looking how I wanted and I could still see quite a bit of white paper actually when I've after my first layer, it was red, yellow, green. It looked like the um, um, Indian flag, is it? I can't remember. My son told me. But anyway, I did this sort of multicolour background in the end. I thought um, it looked... I'd seen Rita do these sorts of multicolour things on her pages, and so I used it, and I was pleased. I had great fun with the berries, as always. Now, this page, um, I did this sort of multicoloured ribbon, of flowers. Um, I used something else. I know polychromos. <laughs> it's getting a bit silly now. Um, yes, I used polychromos and just did um, lots of colours. Now it's really unlike me to do a big mad colour, so I kept the leaves, all the sort of foliage, in the same colour on this bit, and then I did lots of different greens on the outside. I just, I just really had fun with it. Um, I tried something a bit different and it worked so I was pleased. Usually I would stick to a very limited palette. This one, again, something a bit different. Um, Rita Berman has got some video on her Instagram page showing her versions of these three pumpkins. So, and they were beautiful. So I looked at those carefully and I copied them um, using um, polychromos and then I used the rest did the rest of them in the same colour scheme because I could only see the three the circles are I drew um, not brilliant and this one I managed to draw around things but later some of them I couldn't like draw around something so they're a bit odd but oh it took me uh, quite a long time but I just Again, every minute I was like, oh, such fun. And uh, yeah, particularly like this one in the middle. And uh, yeah, really, really good. So that was nice. Lots of gold pen. I don't know if you could see that. But lots of gold. I think Rita uses gold paint, but I don't have gold paint. And I find gold pen much easier. Now, Rita sent me this book of her postcards which was very, very kind of her. She even drew me a little picture. And I did this one, which you may have seen in my flip through video. I uh, colored this gorgeous little elephant one. And she says it's an advent calendar in postcard form for me to do in December. But I may, I may not, because they're not very Christmassy, but I will, um, I, I am very grateful and I will enjoy them, I know. Right, let's just move my bookmarks away. Now, I did start Rita's winter book because of it being Christmas-ish. 
and I started with this one quite simple. There's a lot going on with it though. The tree is done with Pablo pencils. There's two shades, one for the outside bits and one for the main part. Um, then on these bits that the main outlines there's some red um, I think it's glitter pen. Then the the outside is a couple of pastels with an iridescent top coating on the top with a pan pastel iridescent. It's um, this one here. It's called White Fine Pearl Medium. Um, so there's a bit of that on the top. I can see it, but I don't think it shows up on the camera. And then all the around here, which again is really hard for you to see. Oh, I can do that is that's done in silver pen so when it's like that the light catches it you can't see it so all those shapes that Rita's drawn on done in silver so yeah lots of bits and pieces but uh, yeah not complicated now we're moving on to some mandalas this one colour cube card you may have seen this one I did put it on my um, Facebook and Instagram pages and I use this colour cube card but around the edge there's actually gold um, glitter pen actually it looks no I think it oh I don't know it might be the see-through one I think it is gold who knows I'll keep arguing with myself just talk amongst yourselves <laughs> now we have another mandala but let's move the colour cube card getting all muddled up with the bookmarks keep them separate right light-hearted mandalas to go so this one with this card you can see it's sort of autumnal where you're going for that one um polychromos don't think i told you what i used for the last one polychromo this one oops hang on we've got one here this one i was sort of that looks quite halloweeny doesn't it I don't know, um, that was done with cores pencils. I think I just wanted to use the purples because they're pretty. This one is um, Brute Funa Metallic. So I used this card and then just picked the nearest metallic pencils. This one is such a pretty card. Um, I used my Yova pencils for that one. Now, Calm Colouring, which is a little book I was gifted. I used this one for here. I didn't know what colours to use, so I just grabbed a card. And then the next one, I didn't use a card. I just did some nice colours. Actually, I looked up hibiscus and just picked a few colours. Did a bit of green behind. Oh, it's a bit far away, isn't it? And then a black Posca outline, which is a bit messy. But there we go. Now my flowers book, um, this one, this was an experiment. This is an ink tense um, orange pencil and I tried it out, activated it and then coloured over it. I found it really difficult to colour over, but I don't, I assume that's the paper because I know some people have real success with that. And I tried colouring it over with Prisma and maybe that wasn't the best pencil to use, I don't know. Um, oh, and Polly's. I tried different pencils, you see it's made the page a bit crinkly. And this one, I just really wanted to do it a very soft colour. Um, I was in the mood for something, after doing lots of bright autumn, I just wanted something a little softer, so that's Ergosoft's, um, just keeping it light. Now this book, um, I did a couple of buddy colours with my friend Michelle, she bought me this book so we could buddy together. So we've got some autumnal um, colour cube cards. This one was, I used very thin, very thin, the Prisma colour very thin pencils for that one. And then this one I used Arteza Expert with that colour cube card. Yeah, that's it, that book. Then we have the Flower Year. Um, this is another yearly challenge, doing a page a month. Um, so that was last month, this is this month, so we've got the November page with all the berries. I did look up the berries and I think these are the right colours. This, well this is elderberry, it's probably a little bit too blue, but I, it's a bit of artistic licence and I like the colour. 
<laughs> can't remember what these were but I looked them up and they came in lots of different colours so I picked those because I like them and I used polychromos of course and the winter ones we've got um holly and mistletoe and things I may do a tutorial but it, I might not because I've got a lot of holly ones so I'll have a think this one was a book that I was gifted this month and I just did um, the one picture in it um, using um, Yova pencils and I just again really liking that colour combination so having a play with it. Now what sort of moving into Christmas I do have a few non-Christmassy ones as well I try to do the Christmas ones to the end to sort of move through the season but it didn't work so anyway <laughs> so this one I just finished today I hope that gold paint's dry it is it's gold Posca pen so I used um Pablo pencils for this one um I don't know what's going on in there but anyway um and uh yeah had to go with that so that was uh, that was good and there's a gold Posca pen for the frame and then this one here what did I use for that squirrel? Oh, polychromos, what a surprise. There's also some gold pen on this, so if I tilt it, I mm, don't know if it's really showing up, but that was that one. So, uh, squirrel. And uh, there's bits of white pen on there as well in places. So that was good. But that's another, that's one I might try and finish this season, this, this winter, but I'm not sure. It's quite a lot to go, because this one, again, I might want to finish too. Um, I did this one, I think I did this one last night. So this one was done with, where are you, Matchstick Mouse? Um, Pablo's. And the skates are done with the silver Pablo pencil, but there's also um, silver glitter pen for the movement lines and a see-through glitter pen for the snow, but you can't really tell the difference. And there's gold glitter pen on the stars. Now for the snow on this one I used a light blue, there's a really light blue pencil in the Pablos and there's some, use some white pen for the uh, pom-poms, so there we go. This one, whoops, now this one I wanted to inject some colour so I did that in the sky, doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to go into focus. Um, so this one I used polychromos, I took quite a long time colouring this I seem to remember. Actually I used a few Prismacolors to um, to blend the tree, I remember. Um, it took me a while to realise what this was. This is a pencil sharpener blade that Mouse is using to cut off the top of the tree to make his her Christmas tree. Now these stars are all done in different colour pencil and I just outlined them in white so they stood out a little bit more. So, uh, and I just made them more multicoloured because the picture didn't have a lot of colour in. So I just wanted to add some colour. Now we're going back to autumn with this one. Now this book does have all the seasons in, but I was looking through and I just... So this is like we're going on to winter from here on in the book. But I just saw this picture with all, and it caught my eye so I coloured this one rather than a, than a Christmassy one. And I used Artex pencils. And it looks fairly Christmassy with all the red, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but that was that one. And a couple more. This book here, I don't, I think these were limited edition. I'm not sure you can buy them anymore. But I did, oops, this page here. Um, this, I thought, I mean, it could be just a stag, but I thought it looked like a reindeer. And I was sort of thinking Christmas colors, so I did red and green and yellow. And it was just a really relaxing page. I didn't do any shading. I just blocked in the colour using my Yova pencils. Just, just chilled work. Now we've got a couple of Agatha Pop pages. This is, whoops, the autumn page. Now I did a tutorial for you here and here showing you some different colour combos for autumn leaves. But the page is so beautiful. I just finished it. Now people often ask me what paper I use for downloads. Now I used to buy Bristol board and I found it didn't quite have enough tooth for my liking. Um, I've got some Derwent paper, it's got too much tooth so I've started just sticking to printer copy paper and I'm finding it's working for me and the only thing is because this is printed double-sided you can see the print through a little bit but yeah. 
so that's copy paper but I just kept all the autumn colours Pablo pencils lots of fun and last but not least is another Agatha Pop page this one now I did this parcel page in a video when I was showing you all her Christmas offerings she's actually working on a new Christmas page as I'm recording this but this was um this was I've shown you all the ones she sent me so she sent me all her pages for free apart from one that I bought off her and I outlined all the ribbons with a glitter pen and uh, just coloured them all in different colour combos using um, Artex pencils took me a while had fun why not so I did that's it now 73 pictures so not as many as normal um but um but I took my time on a few of them and it took a bit longer but that was fine and also um I've been recording things for next month which you haven't seen yet um and yeah I just uh, I just didn't get so much done but it doesn't matter it's not a race um so yes but uh, yes small victories took up a lot of time just enjoying you know devouring and just slowly colouring but that's me it's got a couple of pages of pictures a bit messy um but there we go but that's me for this month um yeah have a fantastic december i am looking forward to lots more sparkle glitter pens um metallics yeah all that can't wait but thank you so much for watching um hope the um if you want to buy any of the books or downloads or anything, let me know because I can send you links. I do have affiliate links, so that sort of means I get commission on some of them. Some of them I don't. Um, but if you want any of them or want to know what I used or blah, ask questions. It doesn't matter. I try and answer everything I can. So anyway, thank you for watching. Stop blaring on that. And uh, happy colouring. <laughs>